All right, we are heading to Arlington. We're a little late, but I think we should be able to to go there. <clears throat> I'm riding the Elite, and Glenn is riding the SH 150. So you know, I could take 495, but I don't quite feel brave enough on this Elite 110 in DC traffic. I've taken the SH 150 on the highway. And it's a much better bike for highway riding for very short distances. All right, we are in DC, it's DC suburbs, and you know, it's really pretty here, but you pay for this prettiness. This is a very popular cycling area. This is American University, and over there to the left is the NBC studios it's funny there's like actually a like this gallery here and they all they show is like modern art which is generally I regard as garbage it's right over here Georgetown University to the left and we are about to cross over from Georgetown on to Virginia oh I don't know if we missed it oh there's I think they're still here that is funny Vespa provides breakfast in the morning. Shit right here. Yeah, that looks good. amazing all right we are ready to roll so one two three four five six seven we have seven <clears throat> motorcyclists Arlington Cemetery this area is like where Arlington Cemetery is so if you don't know this area DC is pretty interesting this is also where they do the rolling thunder which of course they don't do it anymore I think we're gonna go to the right here and we're leaving Virginia and now we should be in Washington DC to the left is the Kennedy Center the Martin Luther King Memorial and to the left you can't really see it is the reflecting pool and this is where the tidal basin is for the cherry blossoms and stuff Yeah, like I've never really seen DC this empty. It's kind of cool seeing a gang of scooters go by. You know, like there's ADV gangs, there's sport bike gangs, but the scooter gangs, I mean, I think they're the most dangerous. You know, mods versus rockers, that old thing. Air and Space Museum, and to the left, guys, that is the Capitol Building. You know, that whole riot on January 6th. Glenn is like a, um, a boy in a candy store today. Look at all the scooters. Remember, he's the guy that has the Honda Elite 80, but I don't think the 80 could be able to deal with all of this. There's the the new fence that they put up so this did not have a fence before so this area is capitol hill yeah and uh this is where you know a lot of the movies are surrounded because this is where the lobbyists are the interns right but you don't get a lot for your millions here all of the underlings all the, yeah but the thing is it's really expensive but right so the underlings are financed and they're also coming from wealthy families you're yeah. in maryland and pg county and we're just heading west oh man that was cool seeing the f-18 or whatever go by and there's another one over there all right i am struggling here to keep up with these guys you know the bike is not slow but it's all relative when you're riding with a big group and on scooters it's much more obvious if you're like the slow scooter and a group of medium-sized scooters you can tell right away where your scooter is you know the 110 is a better city bike but 
I think you need at least a 150 to ride in the speed limit of uh, the area. I think a 150 definitely is perfect. You know, 150, 200, that's a perfect size. Now the Vespas up ahead are 300s and they look almost like the 150 size wise. The SH does have pretty good speed, but the problem with this is that I'm maxing out, so... And um, when they speed up just a little bit more, I can't really keep up. Trooper. Uh, very hidden, very hidden there. On the shade, relaxing, trying to get some speeders. They're losing me. And by the way, I am maxing it out. They're, they're opening it up. Yeah, that SH looks pretty darn good. Scooters are really perfect for new motorcycle riders. Just getting a scooter because you don't have to worry about the clutch. And I think they're almost as fun for touring. Yeah, back roads, right? Yeah, this feels better. Yeah, yeah. Driving in Chesapeake and North Beach, you actually see the bay up ahead. It feels really good. You could actually tell the uh, coolness of the air as you approach the water. I do need to fill this thing up because riding balls out on that highway for a while did it it's just uh, not a very good not a very good way of riding this elite 110 this gets really good gas mileage but if you're riding on the highway and just twisting the throttle it really wears out all the uh, the gas it disappears so the 150 at that speed would do much better and 200 would do better thing is that this Abner's is also the crab seafood place and it's also a casino. Very odd. There we go. I don't see the wa the land on the other well, side. There, I see it. Oh yeah, I yeah. see that. Yeah. That's what makes it calm. These houses are pretty darn sweet because they have such a good view of the bay. And normally, I think these are like multi-million dollar houses. Out of here. Now we're gonna go north and west and we're just gonna take back roads. So it was definitely a good ride with these guys. I think the Vespa guys are pretty interesting. They usually have very good bikes and very good taste and it seems like the Vespa community loves how, knows how to live life. Some nice corners here. One time I believe I had a guy crash his bike here. And I am not doing too well with these corners. I'm just not used to this uh, very tight handling of the, the scooter. The 12 inch wheels make it very scooter like riding. And when I ride a motorcycle, I kind of know how it feels based on the wheel size. You know, you can go from a sport bike to an adventure bike and it still has that motorcycle riding feel. The SH150, it's got that. It's got that motorcycle riding feel. This does not. This feels like a scooter. And I think for me, that creates a lot of fun. It's a fun factor. But it also means that you have to learn to ride the scooter. Learn to ride this like a scooter, like throwing it to corners. But I'm just not comfortable. I like the predictability of the large wheels. But, you know, normally I don't really ride this in twisty conditions because the road that I would take, like a 50, 60, um, that's a sweeper for this bike. It feels, see, I'm going wide on this because I'm not used to it. We just filled up both of these scooters and how much was it? 5.6. Welcome to the town of Riva. Israel Avenue, where can I go? I believe we want to go the other way. By the way, it's Pride Month, so there's all of these Pride flags everywhere. 
I haven't been here since um, COVID. I don't think so. Now we're back to the Capitol building, which is here. Paint, Ronaldo Dorado. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get a new hobby. Road closed. Oh, I can't believe these people. You know, I sold my V-Strom 650 to a, to a guy that worked at the ice cream shop here and he lives over here, which is kind of funny. Look at these houses here. Look at them. That's a brand new house. Beautiful house. Look at these houses. That is awesome looking. Man. And these are all like very close together. They're single family homes and some of them are kind of like duplex like. That's an awesome house right there. Oh, look at that. A scooter. That's a Yamaha Majesty. Apparently, we can't park our scooters here. So you can see Annapolis parking over there. And there was two guys parked here. I think they stepped over there to look at the water. And came back and there were tickets. And, you know, the ridiculous law is that you have to pay, even if you're on a motorcycle, you have to pay per parking space per motorcycle. So you couldn't park like four bikes in one space. They would give you a ticket for that. So that's kind of ridiculous, you know. They do that in a lot of Maryland and even D.C. These seems to be a little bit more lenient because they allow parking on the sidewalks. But around here, clearly not wanted here. It's nice to like ride around, but definitely they don't make it very welcoming for anybody coming in, driving or riding. It used to be like a hangout. That's a Kawasaki. Hey, how many cc is that thing? 22. Is it 50? No. Is it 150. Yeah. That's a 150. It's like one of the Chinese uh, 150s. It's got 150 cc. Yeah. What's your guy? That's a 110. Yeah. <laughs> He's carrying his groceries. You know, that's that's a real rider right there. He's got like the skull cap thing going. He's got his chin diaper on. He's got his groceries. He's got a 150, but he's got an ORV sticker, so not exactly fully legal there. But who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? Live your life, buddy. What is he? What are you doing? So this guy passed us in just so he can make a left turn right in front of us. That's gonna <laughs> kinda stuck here. The cops won't bother me.